Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to the LP channel. Now in today's video I'm just going to be going through a quick rundown of two streams that have been banned off of Twitch. Now if you haven't heard of who Amaranth is or Indie Fox, I don't really know where you've been living for the past few years but anyways if you don't know them um, I'll insert a clip now of what they're known for. In fact now I better not do that because that'll probably get me taken down on YouTube. Um, effectively they are the typical hot tub streamers. They're the type of people who um, do very like sexual content but pretend it's not sexual. That type of content is what they used to do uh, on Twitch. And as you can see by the screen, I don't know how I'm going to edit this video, but Amaranth has been banned. Um, pretty much this is mostly down to the fact that in her ASMR streams she was doing ear licking and it's considered um extremely sexual and of like a sexual content so that's why they that's why twitch banned them um i do know on youtube as well um i think it's in the past year or two um youtube have been uh, clamping down a lot on the uh, ear licking things is like really sexual um if i'm just going to give my personal opinion i think it's pretty soft core stuff but I, I i do understand where they're coming from um but yeah, the main reason Amaranth has been banned is because of that. But also some people reckon it's because of um, her link tree. If you don't know what a link tree is, I think we have one on the ARP channel. I'm not too sure. Um, but it's basically just like a nice concise list of things, of links, where you can just put your Instagram, your YouTube, your Facebook, your whatever. Um, and in Amaranth's case, she put her OnlyFans. Now, if you don't know what OnlyFans is don't lie to me um but yeah she's been putting her only fans in there and i know on youtube as well um most people who do only fans don't put it in the description they link to a link tree which then links to their only fans because through all the metadata and searching videos and stuff if youtube find the words only fans they're going to just either not give you uh the proper monetization and they're not, and they're probably not going to push your video out because they think, oh, that equals adult content, which it does. So that's why uh, it's like a good workaround, really, for uh, for people who do that style of content. Um, and yeah, and the other stream, I know those two that um, got banned. I've predominantly talked about Amaranth mostly because um, I don't really know a great deal about the other one called Indie Fox. I'm, from what I've heard, she's fairly similar in the whole style of videos that Amaranth does. Um, and yeah, she also got banned, and it's been alleged that she uh, she got banned for the same reason. And um, I just wanted to sort of end this video by saying, do I personally think that Amaranth um, is going to get... Is she going to lose her career? Is she going to end up homeless? No way in hell. No way at all. Um, I don't want to call people out or anything, but and I've got to be very careful as I scroll down here. But there's a few people. I mean, I don't want to call anyone out, but you know, it, it, he's donated over two thousand dollars and gifted thousands of subs. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's not really anyone else's problem besides yours and I guess hers to some extent. But who cares? Um, you know, just move on. I mean, if I spent that much money on a stream like that, I don't. Well, I wouldn't even do it. I can't even contemplate doing that. But. Anyways, um, I don't think this is going to be the end because she makes so much money on other platforms. Her OnlyFans is making thousands, probably hundreds of thousands for her. I know she said she's invested in um, stocks and shares and cryptocurrency and stuff. Her YouTube is making probably hundreds of thousands as well. Um, and she also has, like, I'm fairly sure she has Patreon and she obviously has um, behind-the-scenes money that gets donated to him a lot of people on twitch have that which um i always find a bit odd but i guess i guess it's just what people do um i know D if you follow the channel everything i cover dsp a lot and he has a ton of behind the scenes and non-documented tips and free money basically given to him so uh yeah um i'm just gonna end this here before i end up rambling on too much but this is a bit of an odd video that i've sort of put together but um, yeah, I hope you like it and I'll see you in the next one.